All right, guys, my rocks three, two, one here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are flying. Historically, we are starting off with the Saturn V, the one two hundred scale by Estes. You've been here before, so go on, hit the thumb up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, drop a comment, and we're going to enjoy some flights today. It's my rock three, two, one. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We got the Saturn V, and we're going on a C six three. Go on in five, four, three, two, one. On a C63, we got parachute and we are good. Headed over towards the houses where the orbiter went the last time. And this is a repaired fin, so I'm just I'm gonna see how it's gonna survive. They're kind of weak, but it's on the grass and good. Nice. Nice. Let's see if we get a perfect score with the fins. Did the fins stay in place? On the grass, it looked like they always hit this fin good and good. Yeah, I had to repair that one and it's good. First textbook flight. Kind of slow on the lift off, pretty nice. Saturn V. Do I see a little morning smoke coming out of there? Ooh, got a little ding here. A little ding right there, but yeah, we got some morning smoke. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, cool. Cool, perfect flight. Arched over perfect. We have very low wind today, so. That was a great, perfect flight. First flight. One down. Let's go with the historical launches. Smile Rocks 321. Let's do it. Alright, guys, next up we are launching the Estes Space Shuttle and we are going on a B64 again. No, actually I got a B62 this time. Um, a shorter delay. So it should kick that glider off, you know, right after um right after Apogee. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Smile Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Use the Estes discount code you see on the screen, IN underscore 321. Easy to use. Just go to Estes website, fill up your shopping cart, put that code in, and watch the discount happen. Smile Rocks 321. And we are going. Space shuttle time. All right, here we go. We got the space shuttle. Range is clear. Sky is clear. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Ejection gliders off check out the glider. Oh wow. It's on a nice circle. Perfect glider and Booster right here behind me. Oh, that was great Very nice perfect successful launch of the space shuttle Slow I mean pretty much right back at our pad The orbiter land it was a nice circling glide. So As I said, I trimmed it well, so pretty cool very nice on a b62 So guys you can fly these on a b62 if you have a small flying field you don't have to worry about it going, you know, way into the into another neighborhood. But yeah, this is all laid out, stretched here, really good. Nice. That was good, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool on a B62. Sometimes you go low and slow. I thought this broke for a minute, but it just came out. They go in there, so perfect. Perfect. My Rock Three Two One. All right. As we continue these historical launches. Next up is the Falcon 9, the SpaceX Falcon 9. This is by Max Q. We're gonna be launching this. I flew it a while ago and it had a broken fin. You can see it broke right there, but I repaired it. And we are ready to go. We're gonna be flying on a C63. So let's get this going. All right, we got the Falcon 9. We got the Falcon 9 and we are going on a C63. Should be a high flight. They fly up there pretty good. We're going in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Falcon 9, delayed, and we got parachute. Beautiful, very low wind day coming down. Coming down, let me start my walk. Nice. On a C63 Max Q kit. They do perform well. I will say that about Max Q. You can get some nice flying rockets. All I need now is these fins to survive. And it busted two fins. I see two fins broken off the Max Q. I probably could have ran and caught this, but I like to see what it does on the grass. So two fins busted off here. That's going to be and two new broken ones. That's the repaired one. These are the two new broken ones. So some better material, I guess, or a bigger parachute. But overall, that was a nice, nice flight. Of the Falcon 9. Perfect. Perfect. Textbook lose points on these fins, I believe. But other than that, successful. Very nice. The SpaceX Falcon 9. Pretty cool. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Smile Rocks 321. And let's continue with these historical lights. 
perfect day for flying. All right, guys, last flight of the historical NASA rockets, all the NASA rockets you just saw, well, other than Falcon 9, they launched from Kennedy Space Center, but they're their own thing. This is the last of it. This is the Artemis with the Orion capsule on top. And we'll be flying this on a C-63 on this great, great day. So let's go on and um, get this done. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, check the links below. Um, check my links, got a shop, got a store up. Um, use Estes discount code, support Estes. Put the code in, IN underscore three, two, one. If you can't use it, give it to somebody else or get somebody to create a new account so you can use it because you can only use it once. So let's go on with this Artemis launch right now. All right, here we go. We got the Artemis NASA SLS. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. And parachute is out. Good flight, good flight coming right down. I mean, these are nice, nice flights today. Nice flights today. Check it out. Just hanging there, hanging. Hanging out. Now it's going to get pushed over this way with the little breeze we do have. Do have a little breeze. Could make a catch. I let him touch. These usually land pretty good. So perfect. Nice fins. Those fins are made well. The acrylic. Acrylic fins. Those are made well. Artemis 1 just landed, guys. Perfect day. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Couldn't have a better day of flying. All scale. Fins are good, no cracks, no damages. The success of the Artemis 1 on a C63. To close out this video, guys, please subscribe. Stay tuned for the debriefing come up. We're going to talk about today. I saw a bunch of wadding come down. It's biodegradable. Oh, no, that's dog duty. That's not wadding. <laughs> but here we go. Model Rock 321. See you on another video. All right, it is debriefing time. Today you witnessed four fantastic flights. It was a great, great day flying historically today. Started with the 1200 scale Estes Saturn V. Flew great. I have nothing bad to say. All these flights were great. The wind was calm. Um, just a beautiful day for flying. Flew that one on a C63. I'm going to get these fins off. The fins had to be repaired a while ago. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Fins had to be repaired a while ago, and um, it's, it, it held up today, held up on the grass. So that was the first flight, everything perfect. Parachute was perfect, no burns, no chars, nothing like that. Um, just a great day, great day for flying. That's why I'm doing this debriefing outside also. Just a great time of the year right now before it gets too hot here in Phoenix. But first flight was the Saturn V, and you saw that, followed that up with, and we're going historically in order, so. Following that up with the Space Shuttle, the new release by Estes, 1-200 scale. Um, flew it on a B-62. I'm going to get the engine out. I'm gonna, I can get these fins off here also just to put some room. Get the engine out of here. Just, you know, I always like to verify to make sure it's a B-62 because I've called them wrong a couple times. Oops, dropped the engine. But yes, this is an older B-62, so a B-62. Glider separated, it was nice. Really a great flight on this one also. Glider is trimmed well, it's actually doing nice uh, loops. It did some nice loops for me. Um, very great, good, good model, um, great release. I wish it was a little bigger, but they're following their one 200 scale stuff, so. You know what, matter of fact, I'll leave these on, that way it can stand. I took the Saturn V ones off, I should've just left them on, but leave these on so it can stand up. Yes, yeah, that way it can still stay and hang out. But yeah, just a great day, great day flying. Next up, I followed that flight with the Max-Q um, SpaceX Falcon 9. As you can see, I had a break on the fin right here a while ago, then today it broke too. I mean, it was a, the parachute's kind of small. I'm thinking it had a bigger parachute, but this material, this filament, um, you can see it was 3D printed, it just snapped. I mean, it snapped off. Somebody could probably just get either glue these or get another set from Max-Q. Um, Nice have it on just in display mode here. Got the grid fins out. Got my burns on there and got the lander. And um these, if you don't know these, so retainers done with the screw, which is really nice. He did a good job uh, on all the details and it flies really nice in scale. It flies true. It's very nice, nice model. Nice model, my nice model. Space section got NASA on that side. 
So he returned like that. Overall, a great day. And that engine was right here. I already took the engine out just to, so I can get, show the fins and it could stand up. But yeah, two C63s, a B42. And these are just two spent casings um, that I found out there. That is an active flying field. I haven't seen anybody flying there since I've been gone, but here's two, uh, two casings where somebody's definitely using that field. So pretty cool. And last but not least was the SLS, the NASA SLS, SLS Space Launch System, which is being named the Artemis that has traditional engine hook method. So flew that on a C63. I used tape to hold the igniter in. I use plugs and I use the tape on my switch back and forth. But, you know, it's not a C63 flight. I mean, they fly really well. They fly really high. But everything recovered in that field was a perfect call, perfect day for flying. Um, and some people complain about this rocket. I really like this. Um, I like what they did. And I appreciate a nice on um, ready to fly kit. <laughs> so it saves you time building and get you out doing more flying. So it was really cool. Really good. Um, really good day of flying. And um, space shuttle, the orbit itself. I noticed I got a couple dings right here. I'm not sure if when these are happening. I'm not sure if it's when I have it packed. And I have this nose weight up front with nose clay in the bottom. Um, really a good rocket. It glides well. It's perfect. Perfect. And it flies on a B-4-2. I mean a B-6-2. So you can fly it on B-6-2s. Um, you have a smaller field. But yeah, everything else is on C-6-3s. So a perfect, perfect day to fly. Like historical stuff. Um, it was fun. It was fun. Um, I have a, it, was, it was very fun. Like... No complaints at all, other than those fins breaking, which that's just materials. All these fins last, they're more of a tougher acrylic. Um, so maybe if he, can, if he can just do something like that at max Q, that'd be pretty nice. But overall, a good day. Got to get these either glued or my contact them, see if he have any more that I could get. How does it go? Yeah, it goes here, Falcon, I see it. So this goes on here. But you know, you get tired of gluing these and having to keep repairing stuff. Like, this is like second break. I had one break of this one a while ago, though. And this, this lasted today, though. It didn't. It held up on that grass. So, these are just a historical launch day. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumb up button. And um, check the links below. It's my Rock 321. And we'll catch you on another one.